Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my very first Riley Rose haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, because I got so much cool stuff, then just keep watching. So first of all, this makeup look and like I had more of a vibe earlier like this and um, it <laughs> and then I got really cold so I had to put on my grandma sweater. <laughs> it snowed today so I have no reason being in that little spaghetti strap top. Anyways, Riley Rose. This weekend I had the pleasure of going to Riley Rose for like the first time in my life ever. I heard about the store, I realized that hey there was one kind of near me and I finally headed out there and oh my gosh I had the experience of a lifetime. One of the coolest stores I've ever been to. So for those of you who don't know what Riley Rose is, it's basically a beauty shop. It reminds me of a Sephora for the younger set. It's a lot more cutesy, whereas Sephora is a lot more sophisticated. But Riley Rose has a lot of awesome brands, a lot of like Korean skincare brands, and a lot of those like indie brands that I heard of that people love that I never got to try. I just, I you'll see in the haul like some of the brands, but they have such cool brands and it was just so cool cool for me to see because it really gave me a chance to try out these different brands that I'd heard of but never really knew where to get my hands on them. So it was great to see them in person. I did upload a couple photos on my Instagram because it's literally the cutest store I've ever been into. I didn't know what to expect but I literally had the time of my life and I want to live in that store now. Throw it all over the table. So their skincare section was amazing. They had like all these really neat Korean brands and not just Korean brands, but I'm really attracted to Korean skincare. And this is the three, or just kidding, the Naughty Nose Three Step Charcoal Blackhead Remover. I've used something like this before, but I just thought it was cute. It says the Naughty Nose and yeah, it's basically just a blackhead remover for your nose and they just had so many cute things like this. I had to pick one up. Also kind of skin carry. I got... Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> and my camera's about to die. <sighs> I think my memory card's full. And it's about. And I also got the Bioderma. It's like a micellar water. I got the small pink one for sensitive skin because I have very sensitive skin when it comes to removing makeup. I find that when I use normal makeup removers, they really just make my skin burn. So I heard good. Okay, so I heard good things about Bioderma for sensitive skin, but if you have the same problem for me, can you let me know what makeup removers you use? If you find that your skin just like hurts and burns when you use makeup removers, let me know uh, what worked for you, but I'm trying out Bioderma now. Also, fun fact about me, I'm really obsessed with Hello Kitty. This is also by The Cream Shop and their Hello Kitty cleansing wipes. I really have no explanation for getting these. I just... They're really cute and they're Hello Kitty. I'm telling you, they had just so much cute stuff, okay? This is a great place to go to give gifts and stuff. And then, this is random. I just got a little bath set. It has like an exfoliating glove, a loofah. It was like four bucks. This is something you'd find at Forever 21. They just had a bunch of cute stuff like this, okay? Oh my goodness, I couldn't... <sighs> this is the last skincare thing. This is by, I don't, Rude. It's a Korean brand. Suck em out charcoal blackhead nose peel off pack. I've always wanted to try those peel off nose masky thingies So I got one. I'm telling you they had such cool things So I was so elated to pick this up now another brand that they had that I was really excited to see was Sigma now Sigma's pretty mainstream, but I've never really seen them. Oops, but I've never really seen their whole brush line like in person and they had a whole Sigma display with all of their brushes and you know I had just the night before been on the Sigma website because there was a couple brushes that I wanted to pick up but I just added them to my cart didn't really purchase yet I mean what a coincidence that the next day they actually had them in store so I picked up the two brushes that I've been wanting this is the Sigma F77 it's gonna be a hassle to open this isn't it oh my gosh I can't open this my camera's about to die. I don't have time to try and open this. So basically, it's just like a really thin chisel brush. This 
I swear is the best nose contour brush in the world. My nose is so weird to contour. I literally need something straight just to stamp down my nose. The best contour brush for your nose ever. And then I also got the E06 and look at the shape of this. It's just like a very interesting liner brush. I bought this mostly for doing makeup on clients because I really think it's gonna make it a lot easier kind of filling in the eyeliner on that outer corner. A brand that I also was very excited to see there was the balm. They had a whole balm display and I've only seen things from the balm at Nordstrom Rack which was like leftover stuff. So this actually had like their good stuff. So I got the Luminizer Squad. <laughs> of course they have like the cutest themes ever but it has four of their highlighters and of course you guys have heard of Mary Lou Luminizer. I don't know this just had a bunch of them so I wanted the little quad. So I thought this was a pretty good staple to try out to really introduce me to the balm. I've purchased a couple of palettes from them before but it was from Nordstrom Rack so I don't know how good and reliable buying those from there are but I'm really excited. I'm able to pick up some staples from the balm. Uh, I also got the Lime Crime Venus XL2. I've been eyeing this, was never sure if I really wanted to buy it and then I saw it in person and um, she's gorgeous. So first of all, uh, interesting packaging. I don't know how much I like the outside, but look at the inside of this. I wasn't sure if I was going to really like it, but you guys, this is such a unique palette. We always go on on YouTube about how all of the palettes are the same. You know, there's not a palette that you don't already have. This is genuinely a very unique palette. I don't have a palette like this in my collection and the colors are gorgeous and I can't wait to play around with this more. Maybe I'll do like an Instagram tutorial or something, which I hate saying that because then I never end up doing it. But guys, my last haul, I promised I'll do a Dominique Cosmetics Berry and Cream tutorial for IG and I just filmed it, so... I'm on to better things. On to better things. <laughs> I also got a pair of lashes from Lily Lashes. They had a whole lash display. And Sephora, of course, has a few styles from Lily. So does Ulta. But they actually had like a full display of Lily Lashes. So it was really great to see them in person. I ended up getting makeup by Samuel. Oof, this is going to be such a pretty fluffy lash. They're not too long. They're very fluffy and layered. And they go from shorter on the inner corner to longer on the outer corner. So excited to see how this looks on my eye. I think this could potentially, if it's going in the direction that I think it's going in, could be one of my favorite lashes. This one was funny. This is from their bath section, which they had a really great bath section. I just got this as a joke for my boyfriend. It says suds for studs, used before dates and job interviews. I mean, it smells kind of good, but get this, my boyfriend, he's from Spain. So English isn't his first language and I showed him this because I thought it was hilarious and he went, I don't know what any of those words mean, so it wasn't even funny to him. Hopefully it made you guys laugh because it made me laugh because it didn't make my boyfriend laugh. Alright, so the next thing I purchased is from Girlactic. Again, I've never seen Girlactic in stores and I love their liquid lipstick formula. They have my favorite liquid lipstick formula of all time. I only have two that I got in BoxyCharm, so I was so excited that I got to pick out a color. I picked up the color Spice. I didn't really like the color selection they had. I was looking for more lighter nudes and honestly at the store I think this was the lightest nude that they had so and all of the nudes ran very red and I just wasn't a fan of that so don't really like their color selection but the formula is a one so I'm, I'm still just happy I got to add another galactic lip paint to my collection Oof, I think these are the two things that I'm most excited for have you guys ever heard of ace beauty I've seen their palettes like on trend mood and stuff but I always thought it was kind of a sketch brand I just wasn't too sure and they did have some ace beauty palettes so I picked up the two that I thought were the prettiest because like I said the brand's a little sketchy to me but now that I could see it in person it made me more excited to spend some funds towards the brand so the first one that I picked out was called Classical Paradise and this is like subculture vibes. Maybe the quality is going to be better. Maybe it'll be worse. I don't know but gosh they have the most beautiful layouts of palettes. Love the color story for this. So excited to try this out. I also picked up Paradise Fallen which here is what the outside looks like and then Look how perfect this palette is. I've never seen such a genuinely cool toned purple 
palette. Like, how often do you see palettes with this shade of purples? I'm so blown away by the way their palettes are, their palettes color story. I just hope that the quality is as good as they look. <laughs> We will see. I really hope these are good quality so that I can say I found gems because I love their palettes. I just don't know about the quality yet. So. That is everything that I picked up from Riley Rose. I really want to go back really soon. They had so many more amazing things that I'm so interested in trying. And I think I'm, it just excites me so much because it's so different. It really is allowing me to expand my content, try out a lot of different brands. I love Sephora, don't get me wrong, Sephora is my favorite store in the world, but this was just something different and I'm really excited about it and you guys know I'm so passionate about makeup. So being able to have access to these brands that I never thought I would be able to have access to just really excites me for the future of my channel and just, you know, for my personal enjoyment. <laughs> so that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this relatively quick haul. Let me know if you've been to Riley Rose before. If you haven't or they don't have one near you, they do have a website that has all of this stuff on there if you are interested in picking any of this stuff up and you can just kind of see the awesome brands that they have there again a really good way to try out these brands that you've seen about maybe on like instagram and stuff but have never had the guts to really buy i think that's just the most exciting part for me so anyways i will see you guys in the next video remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and uh, yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day thank you for taking the time to watch me